For this video, I assume you have seen the first three videos of the Learning Maple tutorials. I will be covering list set sequences, how to solve problems, how to get all your solutions, and how to simplify your solutions. Let's get started. Let's begin with an important concept, data structures known as sequences, lists, and sets. With any worksheet, I always start the worksheet with the word restart because it resets all the variables. Then I can click on T and write in sequences, lists, sets. Then if I hit the execution group, I get a new execution group. A sequence is what it sounds like. A list of entries. Sequence 1, colon equals. Alpha, beta, a string, comma, exp of x, 3.7, a, B, A, B, etc. These are all in order. You can even have sequences of sequences. 2 colon equals sequence 1 comma sequence 1 and now we got a long sequence. A list. A list is just a sequence within a square bracket. So I could put in side of thy square brackets, sequence one, and there's my list. A set. A set is like a list, however, now the elements are unordered. And in addition, any time you have a repeat of an element, only one is counted. Set one, colon equals curly bracket of sequence one. Notice Maple comes up with its own way to sort it, and only one element of A and one element of B is shown. How do we access the entries of a sequence, list, or set? And the answer is we use a square bracket. For example, what if I want the third element of sequence one? So I write sequence one, open square bracket, three, close square bracket, and that pulls out the A string. What if I want to find the seventh element of sequence two? SAQ2, seven, and it pulls out the B. And the same is true for a list, list one. If I put in minus one, I get the last element. And for a set, the same is true. If I put in, say, the third element, I get element A. Time to solve. Solve. In fact, that's how we're going to solve equations. Let's create an equation, but assign it to a variable. EQ1 colon equals 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 4 equals 7. Maple will immediately try to simplify even before you try to solve for x. Solving for x. Solve, open parentheses, equation 1, comma, 4x. While this is useful, it is best practice to assign the output to some other variable. Let's do another example. EQ2, colon equals, open parentheses, C divided by A, go to the right, plus b divided by a, go to the right, close parentheses, equals c plus 1. There's our equation. Let's solve this for the variable a. a solution, colon equals, solve equation 1 for a. And now I can refer back to the solution of this equation for a, calling it a solution. And here's one way you can use the solution of A to check to see if you got the right answer. Okay, let's do an equation check, which is defined as we're going to evaluate equation one for which A is equivalent to A solution. Hmm, doesn't look like the left side is equivalent to the right side. Fortunately, there is a procedure for us to check that. Is equation check true? And the answer is true. What if we have multiple equations? Here I'm going to try writing equation underscore underscore one. 
Notice I now have an atomic variable with a subscript. Go to the right, colon equals x plus 3 times y equals 12. End of that with a colon, not a semicolon. Shift enter, eq underscore underscore 2, colon equals... 2 times x minus 3 times y equals negative 4. And with a colon. By putting a colon, we do not see the output. But Maple receives that information. Now time to solve. Solutions, colon equals solve. And now we can give it a set of equations or a list of equations, but I prefer set. Equation underscore underscore 1, go to the right, comma, Equation underscore underscore two, go to the right, and curly bracket, comma, what are we solving for? X and Y, you can put it X and Y, let's put it Y and X, close parentheses. So again, we're passing a set of equations and getting back a set of results. If you don't like the way the results are presented, since they are presented precisely, you can get the floating point evaluation of it. Evaluate as a floating point, eval f, solutions. And there's our solutions. What if we done this instead and asked for a list of results? Solutions, colon equals solve. Again, we can either give it a list or a set of equations. And when you're now going to say the first thing that I want to solve is y, the second thing I want to have solved is x, put that into the list. And now you get the solutions, but the problem now is it's within a square bracket. So that if you really want the value of x, you have to get inside the solutions because it's a list inside a list of results. Evaluate solution. 4x in solutions 1. Sometimes Maple will return a result using the word root of. This saves space. But if you'd liked all the answers, you would like Maple to return it explicitly. So let's write the equations. EQ and S. Q equals x plus y quantity squared is equal to a comma x minus y is equal to b. Put a semicolon because we know what it looks like. Shift enter, shift enter, solutions, colon equals solve our equations. We now have a set of equations. Oh, we need to make sure we put it within the curly brackets to say it is a set, comma, x, y. See, the results return this expression root of. If you want the explicit results, you do the same thing as before. A set of equations for x and y, but with include the option explicit. Now both sets. In fact, you have a sequence of two sets, and within each set you have two elements. Let's say I want to refer to the answer in the, oh, let's say the second set for the value of y. Evaluate for y in solutions number two. But there's another way to get all your values if you get this result root of. I'm going to copy and paste this back here. And so again, here is our results. So now I've got this answer. Can I get all the values of solutions? And the answer is yes. Use the expression or procedure, all values. Open parentheses, solutions. If I can spell it, close parentheses, and again, here is our result. Frequently, you get a result, and that doesn't seem to be very simple. Therefore, you need to simplify your solution. So, let's remember this particular problem where we had an equation, we solved for it, got a result, and then we equation, did the equation check, and we assumed the left-hand side is equivalent to the right-hand side. Instead of using is procedure, we can use simplify. Simplify equation check. And now we can visually see that the left-hand side is equivalent to the right-hand side. 
Simplify works best if you add a constraint. For example, what if we have the following expression? Expression colon equals minus a minus b divided by, let's select the whole thing, divided by a plus b, the absolute value. There's our expression. If we know both a and b are positive values, this should be equal to 1. So we can ask it to simplify our expression, assuming, and there is our constraint or condition, positive. Here's another one. Expression, colon equals, take the log of e to the minus a times t. What if we try to simplify this? Simplify expression. We get the same result. Maple assumes that all variables are complex unless you tell it otherwise. So let's assume that all our variables are not complex but are real. Simplify expression assuming real. Here is one last example which is quite advanced. My integral is defined as, and we'll go to the integral, and my integral will be from zero tab infinity under, where's my infinity? There it is, tab, oh, let's say x times e to the minus a times x, tab x. There's my integral. Problem is, when it tries to do the integral, it doesn't know anything about A. A could be positive, negative, complex, etc. So it just gives you the result as a limit. We can simplify my int by telling it, assuming A is greater than 0. I encourage you to look at the document associated with this video. It covers more examples. In addition, it goes over troubleshooting. You can find more information about all the videos I've made on my website, google.prof learning-maple.